You never lie to me Keep the moves on tuck I know what's all love Everything good Keep the vibes on crush I know what's all good Know what's all love Know what's all love What's up you guys? So today's video is going to be a braid wig By a company I've never worked with But I do believe this is pronounced Canester wigs, canester wigs, wigs and hair, bringing out the real you, baby. Okay, so this one is kind of like a really long one. I'm not gonna say it's waist length, but it probably is waist length because once I put it on, it's definitely long. So it's probably anywhere from 26 to 28 inches. I'm gonna say like 24 to 26 inches with this crisscross corn road braid pattern going on on a glueless full lace wig cap with a stretchable panel in the middle and they also took the liberty of sewing in an elastic band but it also has combs in it so as you guys can tell that is the stretch middle which is a lot lighter than the cap Now normally what I used to do when I did braid wig tutorials, I would have the stocking cap glued down honey, giving myself the ball headed cap method. But ain't nobody got time for all that. Don't nobody wanna do all of that, especially when it's supposed to be a braid wig, which means that you're supposed to be able to put it on and just go without having to sit there for hours. So I'm not about to do none of that. Now as you see, this is the baby hair part and it's always braided across the perimeter. I just cut it because we already know that it's super long. So it's gonna be cut anyway. So I just cut it just to unravel it. The knots in the unit looked like they were somewhat bleached. They weren't bleached all the way because as I noticed, there are a little bit of speckles in it. You guys can tell from underneath I do have on my wig grip silicone band and so you do see that a little bit so you really want to make sure that when you are applying your braid wig you want the most natural appearance ever because girl you want to make it look like it was braided onto your scalp honey now this part right here I'm just going to tweeze some of those hairs you can choose options from having 
sparingly baby hairs or none at all. I really do like sparingly because sometimes you do need some. Now, as I said, the, the unit was a little bit pre-plucked already. So on the sides, I noticed like where I, you know me, I like sideburn hairs. But on one particular side, which is the right side, I wasn't able to make any sideburn hairs. But that's okay, girl, because hey, it is what it is. If you get that close to me, then we're gonna have a problem. But anyway. Now the quality of braiding is really good on this unit. They did a really phenomenal job with the braiding. You know, no little hairs or anything like that. I give them that credit. They did a really great job on that. As far as the car and roll part, I do think that it lays really nicely and neat. This is like I said, my first time ever working with this company and I really do like the braid wigs. This was a really easy wig. You know, um, I do like it. The hair was super soft. already know the braid wig thing is popping but I do prefer the ones that are made with the glueless full lace caps because those do give the most natural look but girl I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial you already know what time it is with the makeup you know I did decide to put just a little bit to see how it would look but then I realized you know in certain spots I only need the coverage and you know what I'm saying I think the most coverage it would need would be where my wig grip is at basically in the middle of my scalp and I really wasn't up for doing all of that because you know I wasn't going to keep the unit on but as you guys can see once I put the camouflage or excuse me the pressed powder it does give me a better color for my scalp so this is all about customization making it making it yours making it feel and look like yours you know what I'm saying and sometimes that takes time but girl I will leave all of the information down below for canester wigs and I do hope that I am pronouncing it properly but I love you all Merry Christmas Merry 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 Christmas Happy Holidays you guys and of course I'm gonna definitely see y'all on the next one let me know what y'all think of this video tutorial I'm definitely gonna do a 180 spin around for you guys so you can see as you guys see the lighter portion right there that is from the stretch panel cap so you definitely want to put a little bit of makeup right in that area because it's giving me like a pale look and it's giving me kind of like you know just a pale look a pale scalp and we already know my scalp is not that pale but look at these braids honey really nice and flawless and movable so i love you all make sure you come subscribe thumbs this video up share it let me know what you think happy holidays and i'll see y'all in the next one